hello welcome back to our channel so i know this is like a different setting so over on my main channel i am a weekly vlogger and i am pretty busy i do have a full-time job i work in the medical field and i'm extremely busy so the fact that i wanted to create another channel just like speaks volumes about me but i did want to just come and let y'all know sometime you will see me in my car because a lot of times in a week i don't have a lot of time to film separate book videos but i want to bring y'all with me all the way i don't want to just do videos where i'm at home we're gonna go outside we're gonna go book shopping and things like that so sometimes y'all will see me in my scrubs um on my lunch break i'm the type of girl that come to her car turn on her heat or air and read and eat y'all let me know what type of lunch girl or guy y'all are like do y'all go to the break room do y'all run errands like i do run errands majority of the time but if i'm not running errands i will sit in my car i will grab a book and i will read so i just wanted to come say hey i'm not gonna keep y'all long but just wanted to say hey and let y'all know sometime what y'all may be seeing on this channel so i do have my lunch but before i show y'all my lunch i did want to talk about a couple books that i'm reading let me turn this heat down y'all it is 17 degrees where i live and i am shivering i'm shaking in my boots because it's so freaking cold but <clears throat> The last book that I read was If Something Happens to Me by Alex Finlay. I'm going to have a whole video about that book because it is an arc. It does not come out until later this year. So I'm going to do a whole separate video about that book, but it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, but now I am reading another arc, y'all. I am a member of NetGalley and I have a trigger finger. Like when it comes to requesting books that look good, I'm, I'm going to request them all because they all look so good. And anytime I'm approved for a book, like I feel absolutely privileged and better than anyone else. <laughs> so this is yet another book off of NetGalley. Shout out to them. And also shout out to Natasha Bodell. I tagged her in a post yesterday, which I'll put on the side of the screen. And she responded. She's sweet as pie. And so far, I'm loving her book. So I'm reading The Fortune Teller by um, Natasha Bodell. And it's really, really good. <clears throat> and again, this is an arc that I got off NetGalley. If you don't know what NetGalley is, it's basically like a community where authors will release their books early and then let readers such as myself read it, give feedback and things like that before they come out. So this says, your future lies in her hands. And basically, this is about a woman that um, is out with her friends. She's partying. She's having a real good time. And... I can't remember her name just just like at the top of my tongue because I'm only 11% in. But basically, this book is about a woman who is out with her friends at like a fair, living their best life. They go see a fortune teller and a fortune teller basically tells her you're going to be a great guy, but don't marry him because if you do, y'all going to be married for five years and then all hell gonna break loose so i'm at the part where she is meeting him and they're about to go on their first date and i'm excited so that is what i'm reading right now so after i talk to y'all i'll probably read a little bit but i did also want to come and show y'all this book so shout out to my girl lisa lisa bunny on instagram she's super sweet she reached out to me on my um instagram which my instagram is always linked below and she asked if she could send me this book and of course i obliged this book has been on my TBR for over a year. Um, it is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. It is a YA thriller. And I have been dying, when I say dying, to get into this series. So I'm super excited. Um, it is a series. Like I said, there is a sequel. The sequel is One of Us is Next. And there are other books that she came out with. So I'm so excited. I'm so appreciative. I'm so grateful. And I do have a Amazon uh, like wish list that is always linked below. And I know that you guys send me things from my wish list from my main channel and I'll link it again here in case y'all want me to in case you guys want to send me a book or you know I often pick people um wish list and I send them stuff I send books in my book club my book club is also always linked down below it's licensed to thrill book club all reader thrillers it's over on fable I have almost 1400 members and it's lit the last book that we um read I actually gifted it 
to someone in the group. So that's what I'll probably do with each book we read. Just gift it to someone. So thank you, Lisa Bunny. I cannot wait to read this. And this will probably be my next read. And then she also included this cutie patootie bookmark. It says, no drama llama. So that's super cute. Love you, girl. So, yeah. So, I got it in the mailbox this morning and I was so excited. So, for lunch, I just have some lettuce wraps or I'm gonna make some lettuce wraps. So, I have some um, lettuce in this bag and this is the lettuce that kinda will allow you to put stuff in there and hold it. So, I'm gonna be making some um, chicken lettuce wraps. My boyfriend made chicken last night, so I just added some cheese on top and a little bit of rice in this bowl. I'm gonna put it in my little wraps and it's gonna be a good lunch. I do have that I will be eating, I mean drinking with my lunch. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come, let y'all know what books I was reading and um, shout out Lisa because I love um, her so much. She's definitely one of the girls and I appreciate her. So I'm gonna have my lunch and I will see y'all in my next video. I mean, I'll see y'all in the next clip. I'm not ending this video. This is gonna be more relaxed, more vlog style. We'll probably read together after I eat lunch and then y'all will see me in the next clip. You will. What's up y'all? So I'm literally fresh off work, but I wanted to come and open this up with you guys. So um, I don't know what it is. I don't know who it's from and I'm super excited about it. So when I got home today, there was a package on the bed and I asked my boyfriend, I'm like, what is this? And he's like, I don't know, typical men. So I started to open it y'all. And as soon as I opened it, sorry about the glare from my glasses, but I just can't wait. I started to open it and I am shook. When I say shook, I'm shook. So let's open it. I don't know who it's from, but as soon as I opened it, I saw my best friend was murdered. Everyone thinks I did it. I wish I could remember what happened that night. Like what? So I don't know. And look how cute it is and how pretty it is. So it came with all of this frilly frill, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I definitely need to rebox it so I can get a picture. So let's see who this is from because I literally have no idea. <gasps> so it says, Listen for the Lies by Amy Tenure. It's a novel. Um, so, oh, it's an arc. Ah! Y'all, this is my first arc that I have ever received in the mail. <gasps> have we just made it? I'm shook. First of all, it's gorgeous. Like, I'm not used to getting actual books in the mail. <gasps> I'm shook. So this is Listen for the Lies by Amy Tinter. I've never heard of her, but I'm super excited because we know I love a good thriller. Um, so let's see what it's about. It says, a page turner from the first sentence to the very last, in addition to being a world-class whodunit. It says, what if you thought you murdered your best friend and if everyone else thought so too? And what if the truth doesn't matter? Ever so often a book comes along and takes you for a ride. Now buckle up. <gasps> I'm shook y'all. Like I'm literally shaking. I cannot believe I've received some PR. All right. Oh my gosh. So I also got, looks like a mug. Y'all. Y'all, I am shook. Do you hear me? I am shook. So the mug that I got, it says, listen for the lie with Ben Owens. <gasps> and then also inside the cup, there is a brownie and it says best brownie in Texas. And it says the 285 calorie brownie. So I got a brownie <gasps> and I got a mug and the book. Y'all, I am shook. So I definitely had to come and share it with y'all because I have never, ever, ever received. Um, so yeah, I've never received any PR like this. And I, like, I'm like really shaking right now, but I had to come share it with you guys because um, y'all are helping me get these advanced reader copies and it's PR and I couldn't do it without y'all. So thank you for following me on Instagram, um, my booktube, 
right here my instagram my tiktok my book club thank y'all so much because because of y'all i'm able to get stuff like this and i'm absolutely floored here's what it looks like up close and of course as i get more pr i will share with you guys but i had to show y'all first now i'm going to take pictures and go put it on instagram because yay i'm so excited okay i just had to share with y'all just let me hold you be my soldier, like you from the north. Do it! No limit, baby. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me. So guys, I am in bed and I got this one yesterday, like I told y'all, from my homegirl Lisa. And I started reading it, but I was only like maybe 5% in. Well, yeah, I was well, I was on page seven. Look at that cutie patootie bookmark she gave me. So I started reading that. I am definitely feeling it. But then, as I showed y'all in the previous clip, I received this NPR. And for some reason, I really, really, really want to get started reading it. Like, I just feel super privileged to get this arc. And I don't know. I just really want to read it, especially since it comes out in March. I kind of want to read it now so that I have time to, like, get my thoughts together and thoroughly review it. Um so i think i'm gonna start reading this and i've been well i've been reading it i'm on page nine but i did want to go into a little more detail so how cool is this y'all this is what i got with the book and i just think it is amazing um it says welcome to plum town texas you might have heard about our little town on that true crime podcast listen for the lie with Ben Owens. He's looking into the murder of Savannah Harper, the poor thing. We already know her best friend Lucy Chase killed her, even though Lucy claims she doesn't remember what happened that night, but the truth is bound to come out, or eventually. I think that this is super exciting. I love that I can um, scan this barcode and get a free book. Um, And then, yeah, it's really cool. So I guess this book has a spin on the brownies i'll put the synopsis on the screen but um i'm very excited so i think i'm gonna keep reading this one and i'll come back to that because i'm just super excited so i'm not gonna show too much but just know i got an arc we're about to sit back relax i have my little heater down here and I'm about to dive in, so let's read for a little while, and then I will follow back up with y'all. But the the blurbs on the front of her book is insane. A world class whodunit, Stephen King, like a delight, Alex McAleese, like she's popping. So we're gonna read, and then I will be back. I'm like a baby, I'm 